Welcome back, Island Hoppers. Today we're coming to you from the heart of Europe, right here in Budapest, Hungary. Now, if you enjoyed watching our Prague Czech Republic video, you're going to be equally as impressed with Budapest. What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Budapest, Hungary. Let's do it. So we're going to do a full travel guide around this city here. For those of you who are looking to visit, we're going to go to a spa. As you know, Budapest is known as the spa capital of the world. There's more spas here than you can probably handle. We're going to go to the biggest one. And here is a sneak peek view at the spa that we're going to show you later on in this Budapest travel guide. We're going to check out Andrashi Avenue, go along the Danube, do a little bit of the hop on, hop off bus. I'm going to tell you some quick facts here before we get too much further into this Budapest video. So this is the largest city in Hungary with a population of 1.75 million people in the city, but over 3 million in the metro area next to the Danube River. The Danube River is a old super highway for Europe. It connects Vienna, Belgrade, Bratislava, Budapest, and several other cities and towns along the Danube. It's a big, big river, man. All right, so we're just kind of cruising here. If you guys enjoy videos like this, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel as we continue to cruise through here. There is timestamps below, so if you guys want to see something in particular, you can check the timestamps. There's some really beautiful palaces out here. If you're looking for a great hotel to stay at, there's the Merker Hotel. Look at that location. Man. Merkur really gets carte blanche out here in uh, Europe with the locations. Especially compared to like Marriott or Hilton. Those guys don't get very good locations compared to some of the uh, Ibis or Merkur. They do have a different currency here than the Euro. It's always easier whenever you go from a European country in the Schengen zone that all has the same currency so you don't have to go to those currency exchanges because the currency exchanges basically they catch you coming and going is what they do but the reason a lot of these countries aren't using the euro is because they say it's more stable not to okay so we've made it now towards the Danube it is 82 degrees 28 degrees Celsius. It doesn't feel too hot. It's not intolerable compared to some of the other places that 82 degrees felt a lot hotter than it was. There's one of the castles there, or palaces. The whole other side of the river. All right, now we are at the Fisherman's Bastion. Look at this place on the other side of the Danube River here. Incredible. You gotta go across the bridge to get here. But let's see what these views look like. Is this a restaurant? Panorama Cafe and Bar. How much is it to go in there? We got a gelato. Oh, I'm gonna get something here. Wonder if they got room for one person though. So I'm getting a Moscow meal here. The great views. Let's try. Wow, two Moscow mules and some salad. But look at this. You 
can go up there if you want to buy a ticket. But I'm not buying a ticket to go up there. I'm quite content down here. Walking around for free. Let's go through this little gate. What a cool place this one is. Actually, all of Budapest is really one of those places that just keeps getting better and better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Way down there. Wow. I'm going to keep walking around this uh, fisherman's bastion area. Go to this top point and see what they got up here. You guys having enough of this place or what? <laughs> what is up here? A restaurant? Here they have an eagle. Oh wow. That's a big beautiful eagle. Holy moly. And from here we will walk up the hill over the way. What's on this other side of here? And here's the other side, away from the river. Wow. You can see it's uh, Buddha Castle District. Wow. So I'm guessing this is a way to walk down towards the Buddha Castle. As long as Google Maps is correct, that's where I'm headed. <laughs> All right, Buddha Castle, where are we at? Ah, there it is, the Buddha Castle. I still think the Fisherman's Bastion is my favorite spot so far because of the views and everything else, but that's pretty spectacular. One of the cool things about the Buddha Castle District is this tunnel that you go through to enter. Yeah, so at that Buddha Castle there, they have like a gallery. It's a national gallery. But check out that tunnel, man. The district is really what you want to check out. But I am not going to go up there right now. It's getting late also. I'll give you the view through the tunnel, just how long it really is. OK. 
kind of see all the way through it. So the name of the bridge is actually Sijini Nangrid. Sijini Bridge. Unfortunately, you can't go over it right now. You can take one of those. Trams. People movers. And look at this view we get here of the Hungarian Parliament. Like I was saying, the, uh, the Danube here is quite a wide river. They say it's actually low. There's one of those boats that goes up and down the river. The river cruise. I actually lost my ticket for the river cruise. Man, those lime scooters, huh? Riding the old school rig, huh? Old school. Any seats? We're going over the water in the tram. So what we're going to do now is go to the Central Market Hall here. You can see I just crossed this bridge here. Look at that, up top. There's Central Market Hall. It's a restored neo-Gothic trading post called Central Market Hall. Let's go in here and see what they got. They have a couple of bazaars. Bazaars. Oh wow. This is huge. This is mega. They're not playing around in this one. Oh man. It closes in like an hour, so it looks like. It's kind of like the one I saw in Florence. Holding an egg. I bet a lot of trades went down here over the years. They got an upstairs there. Looks like they got trinkets and souvenirs upstairs. And a restaurant. towards the Jewish Quarter now. I'm actually going to take the tram again. So one of the things I noticed about the public transport in Budapest, it's very efficient. As you can see here, they have the underground, which will take you to the Delhi station. But yeah, very efficient public transport. That's the underground. I'll just kind of go over there and show you real quick. That's the station I believe I have to go tomorrow in order to get to uh, Croatia. It was way down. So the Jewish quarter here is famous because at night it turns into a hip uh, night area. People come here to have fun. But this is the Jewish synagogue that I'm at right now. Langash Gulash. Oh my gosh, goulash. 
Simpler curtain. Street food caravan. Uh huh. What do they got in here? Street food, huh? This is Simpla Gertz. Uh, this is the kind of place I could drink a beer. It's upstairs. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is my kind of place. Oh man. Check this place out. Outdoors. And up top, we got like this shisha bar right here. Outdoors. So what do you guys say we get on the sightseeing bus? Hop on, hop off. Let's do it. And the Hero Square. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Okay. This is called the Sajini Spa. One of the most popular things you'll do when you come to Budapest is go to a spa. 11.33 in the morning on a Monday. Lots of people here at these spas. The water is 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. That's around 95 degrees. Oh. How hot it is outside. It's about 75 degrees. So it does cost around $20 per person to get in. Let's check out the beer spa. How do you like? It's a beer spa, huh? Yes. And, they, and you just pour the beer right there? Yes. So it's a beer spa and they have unlimited beer right there. And you can 
do one person or two people in a spa. It is quite busy though. I will say that. Anyways, what do you guys say we go check out the rest of Budapest? Okay, so it's nice in there and it can be relaxing, but it's extremely crowded. If crowds are your thing, then go for it. Well, I stopped in to get a lemonade and a sandwich. There's a good look at the Voyud Hunat castle. Anyways, let's keep going. All right. St. Stephen's Basilica. All right, we're coming up to the St. Stephen's Basilica here. You can hear the church bells going. You want to bet everyone just rubs his belly and grabs his sword. Nice little area right here next to the Basilica. 235. And over there is the Danube, but they have this thing over there called the shoes on the Danube. Man, the hop on hop off bus is basically full today. But they have a Grand Prix going on in town, the Formula One. And that's what's causing so much congestion, I guess. I don't think it's normally this busy for everything. There's the art museum there. And now we are coming up on basically the main avenue. Yeah, so the road we're coming up to that essentially takes you right to the Danube is Andrashi. Nice little area over here. Just at the end of Andrashi Avenue. And as I walk along Andrashi Avenue here, you can see these big homes. I don't know if they're actual residents or just like museums or what. Some of them look like restaurants and hotels and homes. This is called the Iron Curtain. All right, we are at the Budapest Octagon. Looks like they got an ATM here. I think I'm gonna hit that up. But this is like a metro, big Rolex sign, cool Y. Oop, I might as well cross the road. I don't need the ATM just yet. Lots of ways to get around the city. But the Lime Scooter seems to be the preferred method for the young people. Even over a bike. And in your case, right now, it's my camera. <laughs> your preferred method for getting around the town. Until you can be here and actually walk around, right? By the way, if you guys enjoy videos like this, please hit the uh, like button and consider subscribing to this channel. You can also sign up for our newsletter at islandhopper.tv. I'll put the link in the description below. That's where you can sign up for our newsletter, which sends out notifications and updates about some cool stuff when cool stuff is happening. Right. This is a nice little part of town now. 
if anyone in the comments knows exactly what this whole area is called, aside from being Androshi. Okay, so there's a Louis Vuitton, but more importantly, we are in front of the opera. So let's see here. the opera house from outside. Let's keep cruising down Androshi here. Alright, so we're near the Budapest Ferris wheel and there's some shopping right around here. Let's go check out this Budapest Ferris wheel while we're here. Alright. Oh man, the statue's out. The statue fountain's not working. But the <laughs> Mr. System is. How much is it? Let's see if we can find out. So it's about 3,900 Fiorent, which is around $10 US, nine euros. But again, they don't take euros or dollars or anything else other than Firenze here. That's their currency. Firenze. Kids are around seven dollars so it's a little bit cheaper for kids. Anyways, I'm not gonna ride it. There's a long line. Well, we're in a peaceful park here. Some of you were asking why I only do cities. Sometimes I wonder that too, but at the end of the day, I'm doing a lot of uh, research for later dates. I'll have to come back and do more exploring around, like I did in Costa Rica or in Mexico. I definitely got out there to the smaller towns, but in Europe, I've seen some small towns. I just don't typically film it, and the reason is, is because I don't know what the video would be about. Hey, check out this small town. Unless you guys actually wanted to see those kind of videos where I went out into the uh, smaller towns. But the ones that I've done on this channel about small towns, you can even type in small towns. They just don't get the response that the big cities do. So that's why I only make videos about big cities. Alright guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV from Budapest, Hungary. We will see you guys on the next one. Watch some more of these other videos. We're headed to Croatia.